live in a world cut off from ideas, where children can't engage in learning of far-off places, where women can't learn new ideas about agriculture, and young people don't have access to information about their changing minds and bodies. Imagine wanting to create a better future for your community and being in the dark. It's difficult for Canadians to imagine that world. Here, people are overwhelmed with ideas, with choices, and with the speed of the information superhighway. This is Ladakh, my world, and these are the schools where I teach. Cut off by geography, cut off by lack of resources and development, and cut off from ideas, choices, and information. Today's Canada and today's Ladakh are worlds apart. But at LCC, a unique global classroom initiative is bridging the vast divide and bringing our worlds together. I'm Chris Shannon, headmaster at LCC, and one of our primary missions at our school is to uh, support students in becoming global citizens, having a real awareness of global issues, and we do this through active learning. One of our partnerships is with a group called Health Inc. from Ladakh in northern India. We hope to be sending students back and forth on exchanges to help support each other, to learn about each other's communities, and to truly broaden their knowledge of different communities in the world. It's amazing that when we do have the courage to explore and discover, we find that we're not as different as we thought. And when we're not different, we can't put tags of us and them on things or on cultures. What a different world we could then create. Our vision here at LCC is actually to bring worlds together that traditionally have never connected, that have been so far away that one reason or another they've not been able to know each other. Students absolutely adore the opportunity to discover inside of themselves skills and attributes that traditional curriculum doesn't offer. And by allowing students to connect beyond the normal classroom, we can build a sense of resiliency, a sense of an awareness, and a yearning to know more about those who are so far away. It is extremely special. And when Cynthia Hunt, winner of the Vellon Foundation Lifetime Achievement Award, traveled to Montreal, she and her Ladakhi staff visited LCC. Over the four-year partnership, LCC students discuss ideas of development and core leadership skills with Cynthia and Ladakis. A physics class looks at the simplicity of Ladakh manufactured solar lanterns and the implications of a school with absolutely no electricity. A group of Ladakhi children exchange a movie about energy use with an LCC class and challenge them to discover how much energy they use in a single day. 2010 brings a whole new dimension to the LCC Ladakh Montreal connection. In October, two youth from Ladakh will travel to Montreal and join LCC as students. They will live with mentor families, study in IT classes alongside their schoolmates, play on LCC intramural hockey teams, and learn coaching skills while teaching hockey to younger learners at the school. They'll partner with LCC leadership clubs, join the MAB Mackay Skating for the Disabled, and help those challenged children tell their experiences through short movies. Together, student teams will help create talking books for use in remote Ladakhi villages where literacy rates can reach as high as 98%. With the help of the HABs, community supporters, and LCC alum, Cynthia returned to Ladakh with the first remote village hockey program. Confronted with serious youth issues, high rates of school dropouts, substance abuse, lack of employment opportunities, and low self-esteem, Cynthia worked with village leaders to create a future leaders program based on winter hockey camps. Deemed impossible by district administrators, the joint Canadian Ladakhi team defied the odds and helped villagers build ranks, learn skating and coaching skills, and build critical thinking and confidence. Just four years after its inception, our national sport was not only strongly entrenched in the Himalayan region, but a youth team from an impoverished region played in the final of the All Ladakh Tournament. As important, kids were returning to school more were passing their exams, unemployed youth were creating social enterprises, and an atmosphere of I'm possible had replaced impossible in their minds, hearts, and homes. The winter camps expanded to include children and youth workshops on other issues of concern to the villagers. How do we keep our traditions alive? How can we create resilience in the face of global climate change? 
how can we link our kids to the greater world? The global link will be completed with LCC staff and students returning with the Ladakis to create a global classroom in the heart of the Himalayas. Installing satellite technology literally on the roof of the world, LCC students will work with their new friends, training teachers and kids to film their own stories, use computers, and to broadcast to the world. A podcast back to LCC will inaugurate the link, and an LCC dome car team will skate in the Indo-Canadian Friendship Cup in Lake. I take the view that in the past number of years, through nobody's fault, Students in Canada and even in our school have become pretty self-satisfied. We have very comfortable lives, we have everything we need, in fact we almost have everything we want. I think there's a danger in that and I think over the years Canada's place in the world has changed and it's our obligation and our duty as educators to provide opportunities and programs for students which allow them to have really meaningful experiences at the global level. This opportunity is a special, special partnership and it really embeds completely and links to our school motto, Non Nobis Solum, Not For Ourselves Alone.